Hello everybody, this is Bronislava, your host for this project, which is going to be grouped into a playlist. So look for the playlist if you want to knit along. And I also do have a, a blog where you can go and find a lots of uh, free patterns. So you are most welcome to visit it. In this playlist, you will see a video how to knit this particular cable. In the second video, I will be talking about how to start this project, how to do the head opening and how to finish it. In a third video, you are going to uh, learn how to attach sleeve. And I will just briefly talk about how to finish it as well. In the uh, next video, fourth video, you are going to be uh, learning how to crochet a half ball. It looks like a uh, ball, but it's actually a half ball. So I will show you how to do that. In the video number five, I will show you how to color these balls. And I will also show you ideas how you can attach them to your sweater. But today we will be working on the head opening and I will talk also about how to start and finish the body. Here you can see the beginning of my project. All right. And uh, I started on 116 stitches. Um, I just wanted to go and mention something before I go and talk about other things about this project is that from here to here, this is those 16 uh, stitches that means two repeats like I showed you in the other video okay so these two repeats uh, measure a little bit over four inches but once I will be done with cable it will shrink to about three inches it's gonna shrink about this much okay so right now this these 116 stitches is really wide but it's gonna shrink by about seven inches or so. I just wanted to mention that. And as you see, I have six rows of uh, knit four, purl four. So now I am ready to do my cable, okay? And if you want to go and see how it's done, I, you know, uh, better way because i'm not going to really talk about it uh, in here in this video too much uh, you need to go and watch the other video where i was doing the test uh for this pattern okay so i let me just explain it to you how i will be doing it so i will be using these stitches and these stitches that need to come close together and these two stitches and these two stitches uh they need to come out away okay so these two stitches are going to be front cable okay so they will go over these two stitches and these two stitches are gonna be back cable okay and they are going to be behind they're going to go behind these two stitches so they will switch places all right so that's what i will be doing right now and I will repeat it one after another. So it's gonna be lots of cables there, okay? If you want to see how this uh, uh, particular cable is done, uh, I have it in a detail in my test video. So I would recommend you to go and watch it uh, because I'm just going to quickly show you in this video and that's about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. You can go and see it in my other video. That will be much, much better.
I worked my five rows after my cable row, including my cable row, it's six rows, right? And I am ready to do my uh, second cable. But the second cable is done a little bit differently, right? So this one was cable front and this one was cable back. So there is a stitch in the back that was on the cable. And this one is going to be the opposite. So we will do first the cable back. So we will knit two stitches and then these two stitches will be cable in the back. And then these two stitches are gonna be cable front. Okay, so we will move them in this direction. First, we move these stitches together and now we have to separate them going in the other direction. If you want detailed video, go to my other video. So I am finished with my uh, second uh, cable row. This was my first, this was my second. Plus I finished my five rows, which is pearl, knit, pearl, knit, and pearl, okay? So from now on, I will be working on these 12 rows because cable plus five rows and cable row and plus five rows is all together 12 rows. And I will be working on this all the way to my chin area. And then I will continue working on my shoulders. Um, as you see, I am finished with uh, my, this is gonna be my front. So let me go and show you now where I am at. So I am in this row, I'm again doing my cables from here to, from about here to about here, I'm gonna go and have the uh, head opening. And this is gonna be the shoulders. Over here, I will have to do the uh, uh, four knit and four pearl only in that head opening area but I will continue with my cable on my shoulder area. So last time you saw me was uh, somewhere around here where I was knitting uh, when I finished my uh, cable right in here. And then I was going on the way back. On the way back, I had to do my purling up to all the way here and here I have 32 stitches. Then I had to purl four stitches here and do my ribbing finish with my purl stitches for my neck area. So this is where I started. Purl, four purl, four knit, four purl and continued until four knit and four purl. Okay, and that's my neck area. And then I had to continue with purling here and when I turned it around on the right side, I had to knit all these stitches up to here, do my ribbing up to here, and then knit again.
now that I um, frogged everything out, I will start again. So I'm going to have 36 stitches here, 36 stitches in the middle for my neck and 36 stitches for my other shoulder. Uh, so right now I am in a position to do my cable on 36 stitches. Then I will bind off 36 stitches and then I will do my 36 stitches with cable again. Okay, so I did my cables over here. Okay, and over here, this was my first section where I had to bind off. But I had to, for my cable, I had to crisscross my stitches. So two of my pearl stitches had to become my cable part and two of my knit stitches had to become my ca uh, bind off part. Okay, so since I did that over here where these were pushed to this side and these in front of the pearl ones were pushed that way. Now I have to do similar thing over here. So I have two pearl stitches in here and I will go and move these two knit stitches in front of the pearl stitches which they will, will become actually knit stitches in other words a part of the cable okay so we will basically take these stitches put them to the back because they have to stay in the back and these need to be knitted and binded off here in the front. Okay, so we will knit and bind off. Now this is kind of difficult because my needles are very long. So that was one and one more. Okay, we will bind off those two stitches. Now we are going to move our pearl stitches over here and we still need to bind off our last stitch okay so we will basically knit the first stitch from the pearl stitch and bind it off okay and then we are going to go and knit this one. Now we need to continue with our cable. So this, oops, we're losing a stitch. So these two stitches have to go to the, to this side in that direction and the stitches that are on the inside here, they have to go in the other direction. So we will take this off and we will knit these two stitches. And now we will knit, you can either knit them from this needle or you can go and push them onto the needle again, back where they come from and knit them okay okay and now i will continue with my cables this one has to be moved over here and this one has to be moved these two stitches have to be moved that way okay so i will just continue with my cables and then when i'm finished i will work on my shoulder on this side okay and when i'm finished with the height then i will start working on this side 
with a separate yarn. I will knit exactly the same number of uh, rows as I did over here. Okay, and then we will go and connect it with the back. Okay, with the back over here. But we're gonna go and have a little step in here. So we have binded off this um, area. We're gonna have a little step and then over here we will connect everything and that will be our back. As you see, I am finished with my first shoulder part. Okay, and now I will be working on my next shoulder, but uh, because I already did my crisscross applesauce and I bind it off in here and continued, now I have to go on the way back here on the on the uh, wrong side so that's what I will do and I will go and create my second over here second shoulder part so we need to basically start purling on this side When I'm finished with my second shoulder part, I will cast on stitches between my shoulder parts and I will just continue with my uh, pattern for my back. As you see, I have two identical uh, shoulder areas, okay? And I finished both of them on the same end right so going back and forth but i need to go right now in this direction i will purl my stitches cast on 36 stitches and continue purling over here okay so actually we need to move these stitches on a different needle so I can use this needle so here I will purl all my stitches on my shoulder part All right, now we are going to cable cast on. So as you saw, I turn my work around and I need to cable cast on 36 stitches because that's how many I took off or binded off over here. Cable cast on is when you go and put your needle right before the last stitch, you grab the yarn and you put it back onto the needle and then you do it again okay look at that so that's two and when i have 36 of them i will connect it to this needle Try to make all these stitches that you're casting on about same tension, same size. Okay, so I am finished with cable casting on. Now what we need to do, turn our work around and we need to purl rest of the stitches. But let me go and crisscross my 
first stitch and last stitch. So last stitch on this needle that I cast it on and first stitch over here. So let's go and crisscross them. to put this stitch back on here so we will pretend that the first stitch from here which is now here has been casted on and that the casted on stitch is actually first stitch and we need to knit it actually purl it right so we will continue purling. Okay. And this way, when we go and tighten up everything, all our stitches and weave in our ends, we are not going to, we should not have um, a hole in there. All right. So I'm going to go and finish purling, but let me go and tell you what is going on. Okay, so when I finish purling my stitches over here, I will carry on with my cable pattern. Back here, I am not sure yet, but I probably will just start with my cable instead of my uh, ribbing. And actually, also, I want to go and put on these stitches right here. That this is my first row, which is going to be my halfway through. So I marked this first stitch when I started doing my cable and also my last stitch of my cable row and this is my half half where the sweater is going to be fold so this is going to be our uh, shoulder area but basically what I need to do now is knit from here all the way to here including my ribbing over here. So I will have to go and make exactly same number of rows along the edge from this point, from my marked point, okay? So basically same number of cables as from here, from the top all the way to this row, including this cable row. All right, so that's what we need to do. And um, I'll show you when I'm finished with my back, how it looks. And I will go and chat about it a little bit more then. But again, remember, I do have, I will have, I don't have yet, but I already started working on it. Uh, I will have a pattern on my blog. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm coming to the finish here with my back, the back part. This is the front and this is my back. So what I need to do now is finish my last cable row over here and then start working on my ribbing, okay? And let me go and flip it over and show you how it looks on the front. So this is my front in here, okay? And as you see, it's going to be definitely plenty full uh, opening for the head. Okay, so now I am finished with my uh, last cable row, okay? And what we need to do is now, we need to do our ribbing right here. You need to have knit stitches 
where they're coming these two together okay and purl stitches have to be where they're coming away from each other that those cables so these these two cables are coming away going away from each other so that's where we need to have purl stitches okay and again these two are going toward each other that's where we need to have our knit stitches so we need to go and examine over here okay how they're going over here so these two stitches are going together so here we need to continue with knit stitches right there and these stitches are going away from each other so we need to have pearl stitches right there okay so what i will do is i will start with over here i have to have pearl stitches but because i will be knitting on the wrong side i will knit my first four stitches i will knit them so they will be pearl in here and then my next four stitches i will pearl and they will appear as knit stitches here on the right side so knit stitches have on this side have to be pearl stitches on wrong side okay so we will start we will start with knit stitches first because that's where we need to have pearl stitches and i will show it to you as soon as i do a couple of them couple repeats and one more so i knitted four stitches now i will purl four stitches and i will repeat four stitches knit okay so that uh, that's one two three four and four stitches purl three and four okay and let me go and show you how it looks <clears throat> Okay, you see, so I have four stitches, purl, in the stitches where they come apart, and then I have these four stitches right there where they're coming together. Okay, and I will continue all the way to the end. And basically, since I started over here with knit stitches, I will, I have to finish also with knit stitches all the way at the end okay so that's what i will do one two three four okay last four stitches were knit stitches and they are on this side they are pearl stitches Okay, so now what I will do is I will again follow the pattern. I have purl stitches here, so I will purl these stitches. And I have knit stitches right there, so I will knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, okay? So these are my purl stitches. one more and these are my knit stitches and so i will go and do uh, several rows as many rows as i need to match this okay i will do five and in a sixth row approximately i should 
I should go and uh, bind off. All right, so I'm finished with my uh, five rows and I'm going to bind off now. And this is on the right side. We're binding off on the right side. And so we are going to go and purl and bind off because this is where we're purling on this side, right? Uh, first uh, four stitches. Okay, purl and bind off. And now we have knit stitches, so we will knit and bind off. Knit and bind off. Knit and bind off, all right? So I'll do that all the way to the end. And then I will go and tell you goodbyes because my next video will be about knitting sleeves. And here we are at the end of my binding off. And as you see, I used a, a short needle because it's so much easier to uh, deal with the short needle because I don't need any stitches on on this needle since I'm dealing with two stitches at a time right so as you see I'm finished with my bottom here and it looks great and it looks like the front and back are perfectly matched this is where my middle is you remember when i marked it okay so in my next video i will go and teach you how to cast on the stitches how to count how many stitches we need and how to cast it on and this is all I wanted to go and share with you for today. All right. Uh, don't forget, I have links below the video. Always click below the video. There are links that might be um, of interest to you. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment on my video. Share uh, with your family and friends. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and you will see me another day.